Why policemen disappeared from the streets, highways in the southeast? What do these gunmen really want? It is the duty of the government to secure life and property, so why blame the citizenry for the insecurity in the country? Residents in Enugu have confirmed to our correspondents that they noticed that most criminal activities in the southeast ceased immediately the police left the roads. Or that opens that police should be left to do their duty. They are supposed to be expert detectives. Let them unravel the mysteries instead of mounting checkpoints to collect bribes or accusing residents of creating a monster, which you know we did not. Mazi Kechuko Ibe, in his submission when asked what can be done to stop attacks on security men in the southeast, said, I suggest you advise our I suggest you advise our leaders and the security agencies on how to discharge their statutory duties without impunity. Can you stick out your neck that is truly that is that truly it is South Easterners in whatever name that is doing this? What same man sets fire to his own home? Does it not occur to you that these same AK-47 wielding individuals are doing this with a view to pitch the zone against the federal government? However, Tochuku al Hazriki on the 19th of April 2021 said has had the long advice from for the Southeasterners. He says, from what I'm seeing, we are creating the monster that we that will consume us all in the Southeast. We cannot be laughing when what are what we are doing is cutting our nose to spite our face every day one police station is raised and we clap just today is doing 13 in anambra state and another in abia state there are almost no police checkpoints on the roads in the entire zone over 30 police stations have been raised and sacked we have only stood by and watched while clapping under the table we celebrate the monster that will consume us because we think it is them that are being killed, not us. Um, I think that with, again, there's no relationship with the security force and the people, and so it's how how do you expect how do you expect one party to extend grace to another party when you know they've been treated really really bad and the rela- the relationship is absolutely sour. It is the Nigerian police and the people are not friends. They, it's, it's not a general consensus where or oh, we know that they do their job consistently and they're not out to bribe. The police is it leaves a bitter taste in Nigerians' mouth because they've gone through so much. I mean, we literally had a protest on security agencies, a factor which um a faction which was NSAS protest. They were not doing their job and it is not it, 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 I think yes, the focus was NSAS protest, but really it was a whole reform on the police system in Nigeria. It really was. That was what the protest was about. So, yeah. I, I, I So, what do these gunmen really want? And I guess, you know, you see, this person says that um, it was... Uh, or the Southeasterners are clapping and they, they have this idea, oh, it is them getting hurt, not us. Um, but the fact is, it's not a thing of... The police have differentiated themselves as higher class citizens than the residents and so it's like for you to even fight the police you must have connections so again it's not a it's like these people do certain things and get away with it criminal offenses that they then accuse us of i don't even think are checkpoints even legal checkpoints should be like at at, at most at most at every state border if you're moving from let's say this state to this state at that border you um at that border you literally have a checkpoint i think that's okay but then in a state there's so many checkpoints and what is the reason but then you have so many checkpoints but then you don't have a lot of ambulances or you don't have a lot of you know emergency police stations where you can call and then in how many minutes they're in your house and another scene of the crime we don't have that situation so again obviously it's a ripple effect it's a cyclical effect it's it's things it's it things that happen from the top come down and of course you in a country that doesn't work your sort of coping mechanism or a way to deflect pain is to inflict it on another person because it seems like that's the trend and that's what the police are doing so yeah i just think that's what it is um but you have to understand you cannot expect people who are hurt by 
the police and the security force at large to extend grace when their their stations are being raided it doesn't make sense you can't expect that and you got to understand the plight of the people so again fine you can argue that you know what it is actually a serious thing and we need to take it seriously and you know um things can get worse yes and things can get worse but at first reactions of course it's not getting been a ripple effect but at first reaction um it should not be surprising that nigerians are not paying a lot of attention to it or you know treating with utmost severity that you think it deserves uh, someone says when you make a write-up be very logical and reasonable go through it again I will, you will understand what i mean mm -hmm. somebody says why wouldn't they disappear from the streets and roads the monster they created is hunting them mercilessly that is it and i think that again the monsters that they created okay because you you've made it you've made it a thing of you, they've harassed so many people that it's like no one has core values anymore I mean, if it's justified that the police can do it, then I can do it to my neighbor. Because it's not even that. They're even lucky because, of course, they're crimes on, you know, each other. But then they're not crimes retaliating back at these officers. And you, there's so many stories about police officers, DPOs, a lot of these, you know, these policemen and what they've done. And, you know, you of course, they are passed as rumors. But there is that resentment. And you cannot, you cannot... You cannot be surprised about what is going on. You can't be surprised and be like, oh, it's not justified. Excuse me. Do you know what Nigerians are going through? So again, it's not good, you might say, to you know, take a, what do you call it? How do you say? Being a bigger person, you don't have to retaliate. But it's the monsters they made and now they cannot confront and handle it. You know, because you carry a gun. Well, now these people also have guns, you know, like... Who do you think you want to intimidate? They know your faces. They know where you live. They know. They know. And it's like, they now realize that the power actually lies in the people. When the people want to revolt, they will revolt. revolt. And riots and chaos and violence is the voice of the unheard. I think Malcolm X said that. So yeah. Oh no, actually no, it was, it was Martin Luther King. It was Martin Luther King. But it's like, w why? You know, like why would these things happen? But... The country is messed up. I think for you to start a logical th chain of reasoning as to why Nigeria is what it is, you will be confused because you start at a point, but there's so many other factors that in a normal situation should not even be factored in. You understand what I mean? It is what it is. Put what you think in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe.